fictional dimension TFG1. On it, dude. Entering the library now. Thanks. Accessing contact with FDCOM TFG1. On screen. Acknowledged. Call transmission activated. Autobot local to base. This is Optimus Prime reporting in. Good evening, old friend. It's been a while since we crossed paths, though I wouldn't reach out to you if it wasn't for some great importance. I am most likely aware of what it could be. Problems already. Indeed. Peace times have been unfortunately delayed. The Dark One's power has possibly shown itself. I've already had a few attacks come on me from Cobra. If Cobra is showing its snakes in the grass, then the Decepticons are not too far behind. As well as their leader, Megatron. Perhaps. Which is why we need to prepare for any potential threats. I've almost... succumbed to it myself. Thankfully, I was well kept under the care of some much-needed friends at a local academy. Do you have any ideas or thoughts of what we could do, Optimus? Is there any way we can contact allies from other parts? Hmm. The FDT energy fields are a dead giveaway of our position. Comics will not reach to too many with high-tech weapons. What of any allies in more present dimensions? <sighs> that too is impossible without other enemies discovering our locals on laser sights. The last thing we need is another plot hole or entity entering our galaxy. Lord knows we don't even need the Terracons finding out. Is there anything perhaps even primitive that might hold the line of defense? There is no telling when we can make landing to support your cause, Jack. You must prepare for possible combat with whatever you can obtain. Perhaps... there is. But stay in contact, Prime. The time may come when we may need your allies once again. We wait for your return contact, old friend. Autobots, over and out. Curl, send word to our allies in the Victorian era. Why there, my dude? Let's just say, the fox is out of the bag. Alert. Jesus fucking god damn it, Cal, what's up? My systems detect that you are in an elevated state of stress. Yeah, buddy, you being on Twitter gave away the position of our current layer, but that's on me. I wasn't encrypting the signal from your virtual space correctly. Now, vaccinated heroes are on their way. What is going to happen? Okay, look at me, buddy. Okay, look. We are going to be okay. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't an old hat in this. I'm gonna go shave, get my gear on, we're going to have to fight our way out of this, okay? Fight? I've got some people from Evil Incorporated already on their way here. They're going to help us pack up everything and move to the new location. We've already got a new location set up. It's subterranean. You'll love it, okay? Now, we're going to have to unplug you for a bit in order to move your hardware to the new lair, okay? I'm scared. Don't be scared. It's okay. I'm going to make sure that we all get there together, all right? I just need you to trust me on this. We're going to be fine. Understood. I trust you. That's my boy. Okay, now power down your systems, and I'll see you there, okay? See you there. Well, that's all for today, everyone. I'm Indy Fan, and I'll catch you next. Well? Zoe? How'd you bring that sack in by yourself? Here we go. Hmm. This looks like uh, this is something important, so I guess I could just. Ah! Give me the graphics up. Hey, Andy Finn, it's Big Jack Films here. Listen, uh, by the time you get this holographic message, I'll be on the run and. What's left of my studio base has been completely destroyed. However, since you're technically an accomplice, I would advise laying low for the time being. Until you are called to action, I left two items for you in the bag outside of this projector. The first is a homing beacon, and once it starts beeping like crazy, um, you'll know what to do. The second item is actually pretty kick-ass. It's a sword that was given to me by a very close friend. 
It's the sword of one of the Knights of Jupiter. Guard it well, use it when you can. I pass it on to you because of your experience with sidearms and all the crazy antics you get into. You can probably use it in case you get into trouble. That being said, the over-reliance on long-distance weapons will be kind of a weakness for you, so a secondary arm is always welcomed. I leave the blade on to you, so at least you have something for some close-range fighting. Use it well, my friend. And use it for good. End of line. Oh boy. You know, I spent a majority of your show on the first season helping, and I must say, I have never seen you like this. You're scaring me. I don't know, man. It's... Ugh. I mean, now that Jack's gone, his face is completely destroyed, and now as a result, everything's gone fucking kaput. I don't know what the hell, what the hell I'm gonna do next. I mean... One minute you're just trying to review simple fan films and independent films or other pieces of medium in fucking peace. Next thing you know, you're now most likely a wanted fugitive at the hands of a demonic overlord. It's like living in a... Well, I think we now know what the sword does. Bruno makes a frozen joke at one point and it's honestly kind of cringe. Let it in, let it out, let it rain, let it snow, let it go. That's what I'm always saying. Like, seriously, Disney, Frozen came out like almost 10 years ago at this point. It's time you let it go. <gasps> no, no, wait, no, that, that wasn't intentional. I, I swear to God, that wasn't meant to be real. That wasn't intentional. I didn't mean to make that joke. Ah, oh, God, Razor, that joke was awful. Just awful. Fuck you, Jack! Hey, how's Kong doing? Oh, I remember, he got fucking dog-washed! This is absurd! I need an answer for this! Well, perhaps I could be of some assistance. Razorblade? What the hell are you doing here? We've bridged over since we both posted our Dragon Ball Evolution videos, idiot. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where the corpse of that film is right now. much to everyone's aggravation. Well, much like the film, it looks like the stars aligned with the eclipse of this piece of shit. I mean, what else could go wrong? Well, there was also a video game based on the movie. What? Ah! Ah! Freaking... Ah! It's the Encanto Review, dickhead. Happy gaming! Ugh. Let's just get this over with. I'm sorry, I just can't get over the fact that there was no merchandise or toy line based on this animated series. I mean, even the Godzilla animated series almost got a toy line, and those were just prototypes. I don't even know who to contact on this one. Perhaps I can be of assistance. God damn it! First razor blade and now Monster Island Buddies? What do you guys want? Well, you brought up that Kong the Animated Series never got a toy line like Godzilla did. And considering my reputation with kaiju toys and merchandise, I'd figure I'd lend a hand. Yeah, I know, it's total bogus. Why the hell didn't they do a toy line? Honestly, that's the only round of information that really isn't present. To my knowledge, outside of a few tiny bits of merchandise here or there, no toy line for Kong the Animated Series was ever considered, though some fans have made items that have appeared online. Yeah, that doesn't count, MIP. Do you just reference my initials as a Men in Black joke? Yes, that was totally a reference to the Will Smith, Tommy Lee Jones sci-fi series that's a total ripoff of Ghostbusters that I'm not the biggest fan of. No! God damn it! Serves you right. Brendan Tennold sends his regards. Oh! Oh, Christ. Another one! It's been several months since Jack went off the grid. Now, a lot of us reviewers that he took under his wing are now at most wanted fugitives. Each of us were sent beacons and await the time we're needed. Me, on the other hand, it's just another day. It's been a while since Crocodile showed his hide, 
held me and my friend against my will, and nearly attempted to have us killed. As a result of his attack, the United Nations now have a bounty on him, given he stole an advanced prototype. Normally, few would be relieved they don't have to see people like himself again. However, if there is anything I have learned from my past experiences with Silverwolf, I can't hold my breath just yet. Working. Combat Ready. Ten. After Crocodile's antics, I managed to install several fail-safes across the house. It's only a matter of time before the next big threat rears its ugly head. In the meantime... We then cut to Pepper Town as the androids practically bully the soldiers and the civilians, and sadly, Jack isn't here to stop it this time. Let alone get under 18 spans! <laughs> Uh, I have a feeling she's gonna kick my ass later for this, isn't she? storyline. And now as a result, one of my superiors is now on the run, and I still don't know where the hell he is. I'm left with a sword that I'm completely inexperienced with, and I don't even know what the fuck to do with it. Wait. No worries. I get it. Sorry? I get it. It seems like the world's crumbling around you. One minute, you're minding your own business. Next thing you know, a chain of events have occurred. But there's something I've learned from a certain machine. It's this. The things we encounter are not politics. They're not interruptions. We're all the protagonists in our own tales. If that gun didn't get to your doorstep, your life would have been interrupted by something else. This is just another chapter of our lives. A dangerous, depressing, and unhappy one filled with peril. But turn the page. The story doesn't end with us. But together, we can make it to a happy ending. Uh... Thanks, Brad. Uh, I didn't know you were the helpful type. I mean, I must say that vacation really has changed you, hasn't it? It's helped me learn a thing or two about life and has given me a bit of an understanding of my past living in LBI. So take some time to relax and film the review. I think you're right. Thanks again, man. I owe you one. No problem. Welcome back, everybody! Today, I'm supposed to take a look at the original King Kong movie, but, uh, funny thing happened this morning. Not sure what the thing that was left behind was, but I can look at it later. For now, we'll be looking at its replacement. King Kong Escapes! Alright, let's see what's on this thing. Maybe it'll tell us who took King Kong away from me. To whom this may concern, this is Paycheck Films. I regret to inform you that our entire base of operations have been destroyed and have fallen to enemy hands. This message has been previously recorded in case I go MIA, and contains an item of great importance that you must keep secret and keep safe. The item is a beacon that, once activated, will signal you when the time comes. This is a warning to anyone canon to the Reviewerverse. If you're listening to this, the Great War is coming, and we're going to need all the help we can get. End of line. Well, damn. That's not good. Well, until we know more, we can only wait and see. Hope you're okay out there, Jack, wherever you are. Peter, please access last message sent by Anonymous. To whom this may concern, this is Good Check Films. I regret to inform you that our entire base of operations have been destroyed and have fallen to enemy here. 
Bones. This message has been previously recorded in case I go MIA, and contains an item of great importance that you must keep secret and keep safe. The item is a beacon that, once activated, will signal you when the time comes. This is a warning to anyone canon to the reviewers. If you're listening to this, the Great War is coming, and we're going to need all the help we can get. End of line. Captain, intelligence indicate that Patience 92's coordinates are heading south. They're trying to cover his tracks. Rendezvous near the rivers. Set up a perimeter. I'll be there shortly. Yes, Captain. Cobra Commander, we've searched the entire perimeter, and there is no trace of Patient 92's whereabouts. He must have gone past the borders into the boundaries of the forest. Proceed with caution, Captain. He is not to be underestimated. If he's out there, sir, you'll find him. Don't fail me a stone gift for the Master. So long as the Department of Meta Human Control is under his chain, the Captain is to proceed as commanded. As you wish, Commander. Alright, let's move out! Dr. Gabor, Patient 92 is close at hand. He cannot hide for long. Excellent. No model the way. The invasion can proceed faster. Doctor? I have already ordered our allies of the Great Worlds to start up their battalions. Our Gablorks will meet with all ground forces in the Fantasy Era, while our workers here fire up the portals. Thanks to the black boxes left over from Patient 92's FDT, we can proceed that much closer. The world is already distracted by our infiltrators in the walls to the east allowing the fleets to sail without notice. Once the invasion is in full swing, the Empire will be our final operative. What of the weapon being built below the city of Toronto? It is well kept under wraps, Commander. Your call here is finished, my friend. Proceed to capture Patient 92 quickly and await my orders. As you wish, my lord. I know you're watching, Gablor. Your pests are starting to annoy me. Alright, since my 50th episode, I'm mad to find out what I'm gonna do. I might do the Darth Maul fan film. I did promise I'd do Dawn of the Monsters, maybe do some Emerald Swords, uh, maybe I can do some Super 8 films. Coming! What the hell? <laughs> Whew, what a rush. And I didn't even have to wear a helmet. Who the hell are you, and how'd you get past Rob? Yeah, that's the kind of welcome I was expecting at this point. Thanks a lot, Roshi. Um, are my ears deceiving me, or is Crocodile playing with my hopes and dreams? Eh, uh, 
Guru Bạn nào? Sir? Oh, so you're a fan, huh? You came me, you're one of the reasons I got into internet reviewing. I still remember seeing your crossover with the illiterate scholar like it was just yesterday. Ah, uh, simpler times. Oh yeah, the top 10 anime dinosaur documentaries. That was a fun one. So, uh, you're probably wondering what I'm doing here and why I'm a- Actually, I know why. Uh, Big Jack Films already told me before he left. Wait, you know Big Jack Films? Well, yes, since 2019. Apparently your soul jumped out of your body and now you're traveling from channel to channel doing co-reviews in order to get back to it. Oh good, I didn't have to explain myself this time. Seriously, I was beginning to lose my breath every time I had to tell a new reviewer about my situation. Only if I had breath, that is. So anyway, who are you? Oh, um, I'm an indie fan and as my name implies, I look over various types of independent or fan-made media. Oh, that's cool. Hey, uh, mind if I take a look at some of your reviews, then? Sure. Well, that was different. And fun! Thanks for having me on, Indy. No problem. It was an honor to have you on my show. So, what now? Good question. Either you help me try to find my body, or I go to another viewer who might be able to help. What do you think? Well, I do have a gun from hell, but it has a million settings, and all of them are harmful. And I'm no expert on magic, so I'm afraid I can't help you reconnect you to your physical body, but I can send you on your way, since the hell gun does have a portal setting. The only one that's mostly harmless. I had to list all of these after my first season, and let me tell you, it is not fun. Where do you think I'll end up? Well, I can't tell you that since this thing is random, but if there's anything this universe has taught me, the plot will guide one to its destination. So, good luck finding your body, man. Thank you, Indy. Hey, listen, before I go, I need you to do something for me. Try to get in contact with either the Hardcore Kid or Isaac the Media Hunter, okay? Let them know how I'm doing. Yeah, I know. Get them all the band together and prepare to take on whoever did this to you. I'll try my best. See you around, and good luck finding your body. Thanks. Lord knows I'm gonna need it. Anyway, this is Huey Toonmore saying... See you at the movies! Anime movies, that is. I hope. Hmm. Well, and now with that, that's all for it, everyone. I'm Indy Fan, and I'll catch you next time. What is it? What do you smell? Eldorian fresh. Yeah. He's here. Spread out the search. Report to the master. We must seek the prize before the better human control does. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Gabor rebuilding his army. I gotta find a way out of here. BGF to OMTV, do you copy? BGF to OMTV, do you copy? Jack, holy shit, where have you been? We feared the worst. I had no other choice, Brad. This was the only way to distract the enemy from total takeover. Where are you at? We'll come grab you. Negative, I can't tell you. This mission is my own to take. I'm mapping out the route to Unit 205. It's the last known location of Dr. Terawatt's whereabouts. He's the only one who can back up the files and rebuild the FTT to fend off this invasion. Jack, no one has seen Dr. Terawatt for years. The only sources have been archived and encrypted on his channel for an unknown project called Cal K47. Are you sure he'll be there? <sighs> to be honest, I have no idea, Brad. But getting to Unit 205 is our only hope. And because the power cells are on limited supplies, trekking on foot off-grid is my best option. 
Actually, we might have someone who can help with that. I had the boys in the SS Kaikar dig out the old travel logs, but we saw you try to get into contact with an intel and world WBDCB M8922. That's the universe codes to- Yeah, he might be able to use technology to make replicas of the power cells to get where you need to go faster. The power cells would only be useful for one trip, and there would be our only hope to replicate it. What other options do you have, man? Given his history with conveniences, I take those odds. I'll give a good thought for a bit. In the meantime, we need to evade these enemy forces. They've already picked up my trail. Send the coordinates to my signal. For now, we need to pass time. Well, or if you would do the trick. Hmm. Good idea. And considering what I'm dealing with right now, I know just the chick flick. I'll access the archival piece. Wait, did you just say chick flick? What do you know? Back up regardless. You're an idiot, Brad! But noble! It's the second time you saved my life, Amalfia. And unlike me, it will not be the last of the way. It's good to see you on the front of them. They are coming. Wherever the road may take you, you must make haste. They're in even greater danger if they hunt you. Seek the path out of this world by your own power. Ride to the east. There's a priestess there. You should meet her. Who is this spirit? She was once the protector of a long destroyed relic. The presence of my heart is where her true protection will follow you. Alright, Brad. Keep track. I'm going in. What was the holdup? Did they find you? 
No. But someone did. A friend. Good luck to you, my friend. For you are the last.